Look how sensitive the air thermometer is. The company's in Traverse City. I, I recognize the name, but I just wasn't sure it was Traverse City's number. Yes, it is. The, uh, how did the calibration yes, test go in uh, Grand Traverse Bay? Really excellent. We uh, put the two buoys side by side, left them in place for a week, uh, compared the results every five minutes, and uh, both buoys were right on, worked flawlessly, no drop data. Uh, start transmitting right here from the parking lot. Oh, really? Yeah, so it's okay. all cell phone technology. It makes a phone call every five minutes, and that data instantly goes to the University of Michigan website. And as soon as we get a permanent address, we'll go to the National Data Buoy Center, so you'll be able to access it just like any of the other deep buoys in the Great Lakes. And every five minutes rather than every hour. That we may make the buoy a little internet hub so as you motor past it or sail mm -hmm. past it in your boat, you'd actually be able to get onto a few of the NOAA websites and get other information as you pass by. Attempt to move out of Grand Traverse Bay and Little Traverse Bay is our next area of interest because we're very interested in the connection between these important bays and the big lake as a large in total. Mm -hmm. uh, we're interested in how the circulation occurs. Uh, as these communities grow, we'd like to be able to give sound scientific advice to where do you site sewage treatment plants, where do you site municipal water intakes, things like that that are done in an environmentally conscious way with the data to back that up. A lot of folks saw the need for more, uh, really it's safety information, getting to the boaters of Little Traverse Bay. And everybody jumped on board almost immediately, starting mm -hmm. with the cities of Petoskey and Harbor Springs, moving right to the marinas with Irish Boat Shop and Walster Marine, and then Bay Harbor Lake Marina and Bay Harbor Yacht Club. Eventually, uh, the city of Charlevoix jumped in on it, as did the Little Traverse Yacht Club. So right now we've got eight contributors to this that help fund a real-time, accurate, a weather depiction of what's going on in Little Traverse. But you can never really tell what's going on in Little Traverse Bay. Mm -hmm. And that's what's really nice to know from anybody who's going from here to Charlevoix or here south or from here to Beaver Island or from here up to the Straits. You couldn't get good uh, data as to what was actually happening in the lake. So from a boater's perspective, this location is ideal from everybody from Charlevoix north because you got a real picture of what's happening.